Welcome to Dina Mina Show as a part of Digital Health Days Conference. Uh, today's guest is Robert England, PhD. He is the life science strategist at the global cloud-based agency Up There Everywhere. Welcome, Robert. Thank you. Robert, it's such an honor to have you here, but after such an introduction, I have to ask you, what do you do? Right. I lead the life science and healthcare division of Up There Everywhere. We are the first agency that delivers integrated branding, communication and digital services to clients with sophisticated ideas and products and services, and specifically within the healthcare sector. And amongst other things, we do the branding for the journal Science, AAAS, Affymetrics, SciLife Lab, and uh, we also do the branding for uh, Digital Health Days. So Robert, what is exactly your background and how is it relevant to what you do? Yeah, I've got a PhD uh, in applied biology. I've always been interested in technology as a result and how it has applied to biological and living systems. And I've been actually in marketing for 25 years, so uh, I've been doing a lot of, of work in that area. But why in particular you are so excited about digital health? Because I know that you're excited. Absolutely. Well, digital health is a huge agent for change. And as you know, healthcare really does need to change. That's one of the most important things that can happen. Healthcare in many of its systems are still back in the 1950s. Mm. There's paper trails, bureaucracy, and actually it's quite unfriendly. And I think digital health is able to make that change happen quicker. Um, so how do you see the relationship between business and uh, digital health and the ultimate goal of making people's life better? Exactly, okay. Well, the balance of influence in healthcare is changing rapidly now. It's going from doctors and institutions towards patients. They're really getting a lot more of the power and the decision making. And, and that really, that's not going to stop, that's going to continue. So what is the job of the real business of digital health is actually to create better information, whether you're a patient or whether you're a doctor. So that's really the job, it's quality of information. So basically, on the behalf of entrepreneurial community, I have to mm. ask you, what does business need to do better now? Mm. Well, primarily, business has to focus on a message of benefit. But what does it really mean to the patient rather than the gadget or the device? And that's the usual temptation. So it's got to set its mind on how it's actually improving the life of the patient and maybe also for the, the healthcare system. And this is really interesting because that's where the true challenge lies. It's actually understanding the value that you bring. But the beauty is that when you focus on the true value of a technology, that's when you actually get adoption. Yes, that's great. So what do you think public institutions need to do better? Hmm. Adoption actually is growing surprisingly fast because incentives are in place uh, with a lot, from a lot of government agencies. But one of the big value propositions that I think digital health companies are missing right now is um, equality in healthcare. That no matter where you live or whatever your circumstances, that you're able to get good healthcare. I think that's going to be a central value proposition. And also, we mustn't forget patient experience. And actually, here I think about Steve Jobs. He says that um, think first about the user experience and then yeah. use the technology to find out how you're going to get there. Okay? And it's exactly the same with digital health. You need to understand the patient experience because I think it's directly coupled to the healing process. If the patient experiences a good health care, uh, their, their road to recovery will be faster. And also patients have choices. They're going to be able to shop around for health care, so experience is going to be critical. That's great. And I also think that you have a very broad expertise and experience. And I have to ask you, what is the future of digital health mm. from your perspective? Yeah, I think patient outcome. As long as you keep patient outcome in the center, that's when you can ensure that healthcare works first. So what does that actually mean? Well, I think if you see a lot of the technologies that are being brought in, it's actually about bringing the right information mm -hmm to the right healthcare provider at the right time. Mm -hmm. That I think is central, the idea of, of patient outcome. And so that means that you're able to devote more resources onto the patient by giving just the right information at the right time. What else would you like to see in the future for digital health? Mm. Well, I think we really have to focus on what, uh, how a human being experiences healthcare. They want to get their healthcare as fast as possible so they can get on with what they really care about, which is their lives. 
true. That's great. I hope we will inspire by this talk a lot of people who are watching us now. So thank you very much for coming. And please, let's keep in touch, and we'll see you in the next video. See you.